Oh, I didn't think I was going to do another update on the <clears throat> Primo modules just yet, but I thought I'd just do a quick one before I put things away actually. Um, done a little bit more on Sheldon. So we've got some houses and fences in place now. Bit of static grass and green material down. So, all starting to look a little bit more natural. And then over here, we've got the four foot plane sort of extension piece, which is actually going to go on the end of the, the other module. And I've got these old War Games hedges that I'm thinking actually, with a bit of work, might work quite nicely on that board. So I'm going to do a bit of trimming, fasten those down, and then do a bit of groundwork. This is just a basic covering of the woodland scenics burnt turf and uh, I think that'll do quite nicely for that one. Okay. <clears throat> okay I've got those hedge sections glued and pinned down into place and I think that's going to be quite nice. A little bit of static grass. Not much else really needed on that board. Um, I very casually mentioned these hedges and uh, Essentially they are available at Wargamer shows up and down the UK made by a company called Last Valley. I think it's a bit of a one-man band. Um, essentially sort of rubberized horse hair and flock and what have you. And they come in these 12-inch sections and he makes various trees and bits and bobs as well. Quite reasonably priced. Um, they tend to have these sort of rounded edges. I think it's like MDF or whatever they're based on. So that you can place them and move them around on a war games table but obviously for my purposes I need them to be a bit more permanent so all I've done is just kind of done a little bit of cutting and splicing and uh, as I say as well as gluing them I've just pinned them so they're a bit more level on the board and I'll just blend them in with a bit of greenery and hopefully they'll be quite nice um, scale wise who knows it's greenery okay more when I've got some cheers Okay, probably the last bit then for this uh, particular video. I've taken over the lounge today. It's the only place I could get all 12 foot of the three modules set up. So I've got a helper. <clears throat> I wanted to make sure that everything connected up properly, obviously. The important part is where the tracks join and I did have to do a little bit of work resoldering joints just there. Because they were a bit close to the edge and I think when I put the packing crate around them that hadn't gone too well. Um, a little bit of cleaning. But overall everything seems to be working okay. I've started to have a bit of um, a play around with this area here. So I've just scratch built a little side building for the elevator and just mocking up a couple of silos to see how they look and I think I'm going to put a couple of grain silos there like that and that'll probably be enough give it all a repaint of course. There's still some work to do on the road area and that area there but I think that bit might stay fairly clear actually. Probably just a few vehicles and sheds. A few little details here and there. So we'll give this uh, this train a run and see how it goes. <clears throat> 